<laughs> what is up guys we are back and we are back with some of our pickups we're gonna open this one first and then we'll explain the rest since rocky really wants this this is masters of the universe muscle man let's open it buddy rocky been eyeing these all day he wanted to see what's his, what's in here all right. Ready? We're going to let Rocky take him out and we'll explain to him. But we'll tell you what we got over here. Um, we picked up a Psycho Sid Vicious WCW Galoob the other day. Because uh, Rocky's going to be able to meet Psycho Sid, uh, Sid Vicious in August. So we picked up that. Um, we picked up a Battle Troll. Playset, little vehicle that comes with a battle troll, if you guys remember those. I didn't really have those as a kid, but I always wanted one. Then we picked up Big Boa. If you guys are checking out our podcast, we were talking about him as the G.I. Joe. He is complete. You can see right here is complete with his boxing gloves and his double M bag, his Cobra Reflex bag, which is really cool. Then we had the chance this uh, past Thursday we got to go to uh, Hastel Toys, which on my shirt. Um, we got to meet Hornswoggle and Smart Mark. Gotta be honest, I never knew who Hornswoggle was, but he was super, super nice. And Smart Mark, who signed it to Rocky Stay in School, I thought it was pretty funny. And then we also got to meet Kurt Hawkins, where he signed it to Rocky Open Me, which is pretty cool. Um, obviously, there's newer wrestlers. I never saw Kurt Hawkins wrestle before, or I never even know who... Uh, Hornswoggle was. They were nice guys, but they weren't like the legends that we saw. We, we got to meet Tonka, and we got to meet uh, Tito Santana. To me, those are legends. So I really like those guys. So I hope when we meet Sid Vicious, you know, he's just like the other guys. But let's check out these little muscle men we got. We got Beast Man. I can you play Beast Man? Oh, and we have this alligator guy. If Tom, if my brother's watching this, he'll be able to tell us who that is. Oh, we got Killer B. Rocky has him as a real action figure. Oh, I forgot this guy's name. Tom, we have to tell us this guy's name. Let's see who else we got here. Oh, Triclops. Man at Arms. One of Tom's favorites. Uncle Tom's favorites. Ram Man. If you watched the last uh, video we did, we had special guest Mike Banana, and he picked Ram Man. Who else you got? You want to show the next one? Why right, you show the next one? <laughs> Many faces! Good job! You want to show this one? Rocky, show this one. Rocky, show this one. Skeletor, and he's blue, which is really cool. And this is Trapjaw, Uncle Tom's favorite. He-Man, we got He-Man. And I don't know the girl's name. Uncle Tom will have to tell us. And Rocky wants to open the G.I. Joe, so we'll open up the G.I. Joe. Guys... Make sure you tune in this Wednesday. We are talking WWF LJNs, my favorite. Check them out. Oh, Rocky always wants his accessories, but this guy comes with boxing gloves. He was definitely in my top five. You go back to watch our podcast and the G.I. Joes. It was pretty cool. But this was our pickup, guys. We got to meet some wrestlers, some new wrestlers, because I, like I said, I really don't know them because I don't follow wrestling now. But later on, when Rocky gets older, it's pretty cool that we got an action figure that says, Open Me. He'll understand later on because we won't open this until he's a little bit older. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Next time, make sure you watch this Wednesday, WWF LJNs. You guys can see them up there. You know it's going to be a good episode. WWF LJNs from 1984 to 1989. We'll see you guys Wednesday at 8 p.m.